Hey, hey, it is story time. We're going to do a change of pace and talk about something happy. The story is about the 4th of July last night. So first things first, we got some pretty crazy donations last night. Or should I say like around noon? A restaurant dropped off like two cows worth of ribs. And then a pizza place gave us like every type of pizza imaginable. Ribs and pizza go together fantastically, by the way. Once you have a certain amount of barbecue sauce on your fingers anyway, once you get into like the crust of the pizza and it's garlic flavored, the barbecue from your fingers just adds the experience. Wonderful. And this giant donation drop was around noon. Then an hour later, I think some saint just went to the grocery store and had to buy at least $100 worth of fruit. We had, and mostly still have, 12 bags, like pound bags of grapes, and also like four bags of apples. So that was pretty dope. We never get fruit. So as nighttime approaches, I have a very full belly. It's awesome. And maybe just a little bit of barbecue sauce still on me. The fireworks start, and it's a slow start. But about two minutes into it, the real show starts to begin. And I don't know if you guys have had a similar experience with the 4th of July this year, but it was immaculate. Like, they tried. I don't know if they've been saving up fireworks from the COVID time still. I feel like the 4th of July after COVID was kind of weak. And maybe even a couple after. This 4th, though, was pretty intense. We were gifted with what must have been at least 10 minutes solid of fireworks. At the end, they even got us, too. What I thought would be the finale was like a bunch of really cool-looking golden shower. Okay, that doesn't sound great, but shower-looking fireworks, right? And I was like, oh, that's like a new type of finale, but I, I dig it. That was like very pretty. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, badoosh, the big borders came. And this was like that time in World War II when they were trying to shoot down the UFO, man. It was awesome. The mortars were huge. They were outrageous. They must have had some Call of Duty gamer on the controls, man, because they were just going hard. The weather was nice and warm. The view from the shelter was also beautiful. There are a few trees in the way, but right above the tree line is where most of the action took place. And I'm telling you, the show is magnificent. It didn't just have the mortars. It had a couple drones in there, too. They were doing some cool shapes. The whole color shower thing, too, was actually pretty intense. It looked really good. I would have accepted that as a finale. But the finale was even more of a finale than I could have imagined. Anyway, the whole show was so damn nice that I started thinking about New Year's resolutions for some reason. I know it's not New Year's. I'm not that brain damaged. But I've still been thinking about them. Anyway, those fireworks look so nice that I've officially decided to start working out again. I have the posture of a failure addict, and I officially hate it. So I'm going to start working on it now. Plus, that's going to be my New Year's resolution anyway, is to, like, get back in shape. I'm just, I'm just starting early. How was your 4th of July? Were your fireworks so wonderful that they inspired you to make a New Year's resolution early? Huh? Don't let a, don't let a homeless guy's holiday be better than yours, right? You had to have a good one. Tell me about it in the comments, because that's, that's basically the story. I wanted to keep it positive this week. Next week, I'll get back in line with, like, uh, more deep personal stories. But I just had a very good 4th of July. See you next week.